Straight away with our top story, Deputy President William Ruto now says misuse of the youth by the political class will no longer characterize heated elections in the event he assumes power on the 8th of August 2022. Ruto, who spoke at Jacaranda Grounds in Nairobi, where his rally was terribly disrupted by rowdy youths, claimed creation of perceived political bedrooms was fueling intolerance among the public. Deputy President's remark on political intolerance was sparked by an attempt by some rowdy youth to disrupt his meeting in Jacaranda grounds in Nairobi by hurling stones at the crowd attending UDA rally. The DP taking a swipe at politicians whom he claimed have been misusing the youths in spreading hate speech, violence and intimidation. These young people you are using to throw stones, they are only available for the next six months. After that, these young people, they will be unavailable because we will give them jobs and we will let them work for their sweat. The DP saying false creation of political bedrooms in some parts of the country has been fueling political intolerance. <laughs> We will not allow anybody to balkanize the country and create bedrooms. We will not allow anybody to instill fear in the people of Kenya by spreading violence. An agitated deputy president who recounted the stoning of his motorcade in Kondele, saying such hooliganism will not distract his race to state house. My friend, the master of violence, where we umetupangia mambo ya as a means to get to public office. I want to tell you, Mr. Kinenawiri, you will not succeed. The DP further pledged to deliver on the Jubilee Big Four's agenda and exuded confidence of emerging the victor in the Agas poll. We expect from you, Mr. Kinenawiri, an undertaking that when you lose the elections on the 9th of August this year, you are not going to organize violence. You are not going to swear yourself in. You are not going to organize Mandamano. You are going to go home. For Sunday Express, I'm Gladys Mungai.